Hello and welcome to the Back to the Board segment. Once again, we'll be looking at some key analysis in the Dialogue Rugby League Week 11 clash. Let's have a look at Air Force versus Navy Sports Club game. At Ratpalana, we had the win factor coming uh, left to right on, your, uh, on the pitch. Now, Navy, uh, if you ask any Navy player whether they, whether they deserve to win on that particular day, well, probably the answer would be no, because Air Force was so good in the defensive. Every time Navy came into the opposite half, Probably in the first half, Navy came into the opposite half more than 10 times into the opposite 22 meter. But Air Force, it's pretty much like they're inviting Navy and they know there's going to be a mistake and they're ready for the counter attack. That's why they led the halftime 5 points to 3. Now the mistake by Navy is every time from a breakdown, when they get a ball, they're not using the short players or the supportive players uh, into their left or into their right. Instead, the ball all the time goes into a long ball. This is not sevens game. They are expecting these two to score the maximum. Buddhima Piratna in the wing and Tilna Singh are joining them. But instead, they need to make more faces, going into more faces, probably like five to six faces. But it didn't happen because only one or two faces and the ball goes wide, then Air Force turning on the momentum. So that is one uh, uh, mistake which uh, Navy did. Uh, they had majority of the ball position and uh, territorial wise even uh, Linda Ituni our Sri Lanka women's rugby team coach even she was in the commentary box luckily the camera is focusing only onto the pitch if the camera is make a u-turn she was so frustrated and screaming for these wavered passes so this some this is something for coach uh, Nilfa Ibrahim's team to work out get more faces get more faces settle down and then automatically you get options and uh, space out wide we got the answer for the long passes, how you should make that long passes. If you look at the game, uh, Sia versus Pelis, Sia in a commanding position. Uh, from a line out, Ashan De Costa got the ball because uh, Pelis players are very much up into him. And he breaks this gap and he made a probably 15 to 20 meter run. And then came their supportive run because it's pretty much... Uh, Three on one situation, Sashan Mohamed is also here. Then he made a lovely long pass. Now, this is where you need to make the long pass. This is all about experience. Costa going from center to fly half position. Not every time sending those long passes. And uh, Sashan Mohamed, as a result of this long pass, he scored the try, the second try of C again. So, these are the things, uh, the basic things, uh, because from here to here and here to here too much uh, difference so that needs to be sort out the basic get some faces in and then automatically you're getting a uh, space out wide so that is the uh, analysis we have looked at the week 11 of dialogue rugby league and until next week i'm sabi Kader signing off for the public.com sharing the passion